Welcome back to another mini tutorial on this time how to make a multi-view drawing. So if you look at where I'm already, uh, my screen, where I'm at, that means that I have already opened a new drawing. And once I go to new and to drawing, this is the screen that's going to show up. So just know that that's why it looks a little different. I'm also going to select the, the tab, which is called Plays Views. I'm going to click on the, on, the, on the button called Base. And this opens up this mini folder here, which is what I need to access my part files. So I'm going to access this random part that I made on a previous tutorial. And I'm going to open that up. There's my part, but it looks awfully small in comparison to this huge piece of paper. So I'm going to go change the size to 2 to 1, and then I'm going to click. Um, well, first, before I click, I'm going to scroll this over. And then I'm going to click, which almost puts a stamp of that specific side. Then I'm going to go up, and I'm going to click again, and I'm going to put the, the isometric. And then here, directly above, the C is going to put the top view. So that's it. That simple. Your multi-view is about close to 50% done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to hover over the shape. And once you hover over the shape, you want to double click. That opens that same window again. However, this time you're going to press this button to shade it. There it is. It's shaded. That's simple. One click of a button and you're almost there. So the next part is this button. Well, technically it's called a tab. So this is the tab that you're going to click. It's called annotate. And on that, and on that tab, you're going to find the button called dimension. So to dimension, we click the button, and then we know that this is one inch. And again, we've created these parts, and so we know that we're going to dimension it. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit more, and I'm going to try to move it over so that it's easier for you to see it. And since, like I said, this is a really large sheet of paper, and so that's why the measurements look so tiny. So here, from here to here, you should know that that's two blocks high, so therefore that's going to be two inches. The next one is going to be three blocks high, therefore we're going to get three inches. And again, if you drew it right, all of your measurements should look right. If you made a tiny mistake, you're going to get some random decimals. So be careful with that. One of the rules of dimensioning is, is this. Notice we don't leave the dimension inside. We actually have to drag the dimension outward and I'm going to zoom this in just a little bit more. Take a look. It's not actually touching the part. These are not touching the part for a very important reason. You don't want people who are going to be making this to think that there's an extra block somewhere on here. So you have to be very careful when you dimension that you leave that tiny little gap. So take a look. You have a two inch there and you click OK. And we have already dimensioned the height and we have dimensioned the width. Now we're going to have to go to the top view, and we're going to have to dimension the depth. So let me get my little hand, and there it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to dimension, and notice the depth. We have a depth of 2, and we also have a depth of 1. So I'm going to click from here to here, and that's going to put a depth of 1. And then from here to the next one is going to be a depth of 2. And I would say we're about 90% done. Notice you have your heights, your widths, and your depths, and you're almost good to go. One tiny little thing is that all of these are going to look very, very similar. So notice I'm going to zoom into the title block. On a different occasion, I will be teaching you how to, uh, how to fill in this title block without actually doing a text box. But since you guys are beginners, this is, I think, the easiest way for now. And on here, you're always going to type in capital letters. So no, whoa, that's not a capital letter. That's a capital letter. So I'm going to type uh, in capitals my name, and then I'm also going to type my title. Okay, the title in this case is going to be called multiview. And because the shape is a C, I'm going to call it multiview C. All right, so one of the questions that I was asked during class time was, Ms. Guzman, I want to make that larger because I want to be able to see it, and I want you to be able to see my name. So you highlight the words. Please remember, highlight them, and then notice you're able to click on the different dimensions here, or you could type in your own 
I would recommend just type in the, the numbers that are already in there, just look through and see if, if one uh, looks nice. Um, and so notice there's, there's the multi-view, C. The scale, uh, this edition of Inventor actually puts the scale, it also puts the date for you, and it also tells me who the, the user is on the computer by giving me uh, either their ID or, or something pertaining with the computer, the, the way that your name is registered onto the computer. So just keep that in mind. Um, again, make sure that you fill this in. Once again, this is just a simple tutorial. This is a beginner edition. I will eventually teach you a little bit more complicated, well, not more complicated, but more convenient ways of filling this in every time for you. So, but that is it for now. Notice uh, your multi-view drawing is complete and ready to get printed. Later on, um, on the previous tutorial, I taught you how to change the color when you get into assembly, once you change the color, it changes it for everything. So if you had changed this color to magenta, it would show up as magenta here if you had changed the color. So just keep that in mind. And then we are printing in black and white, so it's okay if it's just black and white. In the title, you might want to tell me what the color is. So if this is a magenta or a turquoise or a purple, Give me some indication of that in the title. So for example, multi-view blue or multi-view green or multi-view red. That way I know what color it is even though it is going to print in a grayscale. And that completes our little tutorial. I hope you, uh, whoa, I hope you're able to uh, follow along. And at any point, if I'm going too fast, you're welcome to just watch the video again. All right, see you soon.